Well, it's hump day. It's the one of the best days of the week, one of three. I hope you're excited to be here. We're excited to have you. And today, we're talking about a hard day. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. So, Nerdy Wap and I were going to go to the movies the other night. And so we decided what we were going to watch. We got dressed. We went to the movies. And we walked in holding hands all lovey-dovey like we always do. And the front desk people said, they told Nerdy Wife. They said, you have to leave. You can't, you can't bring that in here. And she was like, what? Can't bring what in? And she pointed at me and she said, snacks from outside. Well, happy, happy hump day. That's right. I'm so glad to have you here. Uh, Squeaky and I look forward to each and every day we record Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and very rarely, but occasionally, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Who knows? Who knows? Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And in the description down below are our links. If they're not there, the nerdyronin.com. So, here's the deal, y'all. Um, Bushido Blues, my buddy, he sent me a birthday present. That's right. He sent me this movie, A Hard Day. He watched it, and he thought it was inter interesting, even though it's not Samurai Fair. It is uh, a cop-like thriller, if you will. Sort of. Uh, and he thought I might like it. So he sent me a copy of it. And it took me a few, a couple weeks to get it in the queue and get it ready to watch. And I watched it last night. I watched all the special features. I had never heard of this movie. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look here. A Hard Day. I'm not even going to try to say the original title. have no clue. 2014, not rated, hour and 51 minutes. Now, real quick, I want you to watch. I'm going to show you in 2021, in the Philippines, they made it. They they did a version of it. This is not the one that we're discussing, but I wanted to show you. If you look it up and try to watch it and you find come across this one, you can easily remember which one's the wrong one because I've not seen this one. Because the main character's actual name is Ding Dong Dante. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. So, I don't know who that is. But evidently, that's a, a, a movie out of the Philippines. Where they, like, I'm assuming, based on what it says on the Internet Movie Database, that they just did a ver their own version. But it's the same, same thing. So... Uh, if I can find it, I'm going to watch it. Uh, I want to see how close it is to this one. Sometimes uh, redos of a movie from another country. It's done a lot in India. Uh, like Bollywood and Tollywood. And, you know, I've found many movies of theirs that are just like, they're not ripoffs because they tell you in the credits, hey, this is based on this other movie. And they do a great job, but they put their own spin on it. So there's that. So anyway, uh, this is about a cop, not a good cop, not a bad cop, but, you know, he's just, this is not a movie about good and bad. <laughs> this is about bad and worse. <laughs> uh, he's driving and he hits somebody and kills them and he has to hide the body. And after the fact, he gets a phone call from somebody saying they know what he did. They saw him do it. And they want him to do something for for them. Or they're going to tattle. <laughs> so after trying to cover up a car accident that left the man dead, a crooked homicide detective is stalked by a mysterious man claiming to have witnessed the event. So there you go. That, that's it. That's the story. It's It sounds simple. But it's quite complex. <laughs> and this bad guy. Like, not the bad, the worst guy, the protagonist in this, he's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, he does some stuff 
that you're like, what? Holy crap. Like, I was stunned at some of the things this, the worst guy does. The bad guy is just, he's just crooked. You know, he takes uh, bribes and whatnot. Which is weird for a homicide cop. But anyway, it is what it is. Overall, this movie is fantastic. Like, it's not my normal fare. It's not what I normally enjoy watching. However, the two actors, the two main actors, they pull it off beautifully. It, it looks great. It's got some great cinematography in it. The action is on point. Uh, it just... You're on the edge of your seat. It's a thriller. You want... To, I mean, there's... you. You're afraid he's going to get caught. Every few minutes, something comes up, and you're like, oh my goodness, he's going to get caught, he's going to get caught. And you're on the edge of your seat, waiting to see if he gets caught. <laughs> and it's done great. Uh, the director, who I'm not, it's not someone I'm familiar with, at least as far as I know. Because these names are not familiar to me. Um, I'm not Korean, I'm not Asian, you know. And although I love uh, samurai cinema, you know, and kung fu, I, I, I used to do drugs, all right? I, my brain doesn't work right sometimes. Like, I, I'm, I'm crap with names, too. So, this movie is worth a watch. Yes, it's subtitled. Yes, you'll have to read the subtitles. But, man, is it a good story. And it's intriguing. And you just don't know who's going to survive, if they're going to survive, what's going to happen next. You're, you're, clu you're clueless. And some of the story, I feel like, gets a little lost. Like, the relationship between him and his child. Like, you know, his sister takes care of his child because he's always working. But there's a, it's kind of weird. That, that relationship is a little odd. That being said, it doesn't take away from the overall like, storyline of the movie. So, Bushido Blues. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. This was a good movie. Um, am I going to go look for more movies like this? Probably not. Um, I'm not a big thriller fan. I don't mind a thriller. Like, I don't mind a thriller like I mind horror. You know, like slasher films, I could care less about. It, it doesn't... That's not my happy place, right? But I do like cop shows. I like cop movies. And so this... This kept me entertained. It kept it kept me wanting to know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so you guys, you can want you can rent it right now on Prime Video, all right? And and I would suggest you do so. It says two ninety nine. Yeah. You spend two ninety nine on a Coke. <laughs> so drink a glass of water and watch a great movie. As far as Bushido Blues and I are concerned, it's a fantastic movie. You should watch it. <laughs> so there you go. That's that. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're really doing well. If not, reach out to somebody. The numbers for that are at the end of this video, as with every one of my videos. Uh, check us out over on Instagram. We're there. We're on Twitter, too. So, you can hang out with us anywhere. For Micro Microphone, Bob, Squeaky Chair in the back, and this fat, silly nerd. We'll see you on Kung Fu Friday. I'm gonna go